What's up? <laughs> I've got an English muffin here that I am eating. <laughs> I feel like English muffins are, in my opinion, a top tier breakfast bread. You know what I mean? Like, I, I love many, many different breakfasty bread type things, but English muffins are up there for me. I just love them. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. So welcome to another vlog. I'm not doing this day in the lifestyle. I'm kind of gonna be vlogging just throughout my week and sharing that with you guys. I don't do videos like this very often here on my channel, um, but I just thought it'd be fun to kind of shake it up instead of just doing day in the life every single time I feel like vlogging. Also, a portion of this video is sponsored by Thrive Market. We'll talk about that later in the vlog. So right now I'm here in our studio space and I am about to film some videos, get some editing done. So I figured we'd have a little breakfast chat. By the way, this is cinnamon raisin. That is definitely my favorite kind of English muffin. Okay. <laughs> Also in England, no way you guys call these English muffins. What do you call them? I woke up this morning in a really good mood and it was really nice because I feel like the past few nights I've been sleeping kind of weirdly and like waking up and being so tired still even though I got like, you know, seven or eight hours of sleep. So it was nice this morning. I woke up accidentally at like 6.20. My body just like woke me up and I was like, what, what time is it? And I'm looking and I'm like, it's like the sun is just about to rise. But I was so awake that I was like, okay, what am I gonna do with this like newfound energy? <laughs> So I decided to go downstairs in our basement and work out and that was great. And so then I got that out of the way for the day. I showered and it was just a really nice morning. I am dripping butter all over myself. It's the beauty of the nooks and crannies, baby. It's also allergy season right now. Anyone else? I will say this, ever since I started taking my allergy medicine like three weeks before I start typically feeling symptoms, I just do like 24 hour Allegra, it has helped exponentially. I used to suffer so much during allergy season that I would I basically be like out of commission for weeks. Like it was so bad. So, you know, I'd be working and all I could think about was how much I had to sneeze, how much my nose itched. So I still have mild symptoms clearly, huh? but uh, nothing as bad as it used to be. So that is so refreshing. I do think I need to get some nasal spray though and get that popping because my nose is just, oh, it's got that twinge. But I have this thing when my allergies are really bad that I feel constantly hungry when my nose is like itchy and I'm sneezing a lot. What is that? Does anyone else, like when you've been sneezing a ton, you just like consistently just feel like eating? I, I can't explain it. <laughs> That's how I end up feeling. I don't know. I don't know what is going on in my body. <laughs> but the video that I'm filming today is one of my like Vogue celebrity um, videos. If you've never seen them, I have a whole playlist of doing these. Different celebrities do like these videos with Vogue on YouTube where they just share like their makeup routine or their skincare routine. And so every once in a while one comes up that I'm interested to try. And so I watch the video, I typically buy the products they're using and I try them on camera kind of alongside that video. And they're so much fun and I've learned so many like random amazing techniques that are so easy that I've never thought of that like these different celebrities do. So I'm doing one, it might already be up by the time you're seeing this. So if it is, I'll try to remember to link it, but it's the Vogue and Olivia Rodrigo one. And I was listening to her new album. Is it her only album, I think? She's like 18, she's a baby and she's so cute. And she has, I think a really nice voice. I really liked her song, Driver's License. So I was listening to her new album and it's like very breakup anthem. You know what I mean? Which when I was 18, I loved. But the songs, quite frankly, are very catchy too. So I'm enjoying it as a 32 year old. So whatever, cheers. All right, so I need to clean up my little desk area here and get this going. All right, so I have gotten some filming done, gotten some editing done, and I need a snack, but I'm actually about to head home um, a little early because I wanted to, well, I just saw that in the mail came my Thrive Market box today. I wasn't sure if it was gonna come today or tomorrow. So I wanna go home and share that with you guys before the house <laughs> turns to chaos when Genevieve gets home and everything. So that is what I'm gonna do, but I think I'm gonna grab a snack and a sparkling water to go home. And I'm thinking about bringing, I have been so into Baby Bell cheeses. <laughs> Let me show you the two kinds we have right now. We're addicted. So we have these Gouda ones, and then we also have mozzarella ones. The mozzarella I like, but I am a big fan of like real mozzarella, so I'd rather buy that than get these. So I don't think I'd get these again. We bought, we just like mixed two different packs we had. But anyway, I think I'm gonna bring the Gouda one with me. One of my chomps, like turkey sticks. I feel, I feel like that'll kind of fill me up because it's a few more hours until dinner. So it'll tide me over. Alrighty, so we are home. I just let sweet little Pinocchio boy out and Tyler is picking up Genevieve. So they'll be here in like 35, 40 minutes. So I've got enough time to share with you guys the grocery 
groceries and snacks and stuff that I just got from Thrive Market. And as I mentioned, this portion of the video is kindly sponsored by Thrive Market. I'm so excited to continue my partnership with them. Um, I got a lot of goodies this time. <laughs> I always get a lot of goodies, but we place our order there like typically once a month. Some months we'll place it twice a month, just depending like if we needed a lot of different things. But if you've never heard of Thrive Market, it is an online membership-based marketplace where you can get healthy, organic, gluten-free, uh, keto, paleo, anything under the sun, non-GMO. They've got so many different options for so many different ways of eating and things you might be looking for. And on top of that, you get members only savings. So everything you're getting on there is typically much cheaper than what you're gonna pay at a retail price, like at a store. I wanna show you guys what I got. All right, I was just cutting it open. First thing we got, these cookies from Tate's Bakehouse. These are the crispiest chocolate chip cookies and we make this mocha icebox cake with it. It's like a, I'll put the recipe below, but it calls for these specific ones and I didn't buy these for the recipe. I just bought them because we wanted them. They're so good. <laughs> and then this, I've never seen a huge like eight pack of these. We get these for my daughter. It's these fiber and protein pouches. And not only was it nice to get an eight pack, I'm always buying them like individually at the store, but they were also way cheaper this way. So that was a win. And then I got these Simple Mills farmhouse cheddar crackers. These are gluten-free and I like them. They're really tasty, but my mom eats a gluten-free diet. And so when she's over, it's nice that she can snack on these as well. I mean, I eat them too, I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, my husband's gonna be so excited about these. These Nature's Path Organic Wild Berry Acai Flavored Toaster Pastries. I, look how good those look. I know, I know. Whew. But speaking of quick breakfast, I also got some of these, the Purely Elizabeth Collagen Protein Oats. So I've tried a couple of brands of like these quick oats that are like ready to go, but I haven't tried this one. So I figured we'd give this a try. I got two of these. We both also love this Calm Magnesium Supplement. So we like the raspberry lemon flavor. We've gone through so many of these and we were almost out. So this came just in time. And we drink it like as if it were tea. We boil water in our teapot and put some of this in it and we drink it every night. My best advice though, if you're wanting to try this is to start small. It even tells you to start with a half teaspoon and kind of work your way up. Otherwise it can sometimes upset your tummy. So I, we love this. It just relaxes us in the evening. It helps with our muscles as well. If you look up the benefits of magnesium, there's a lot. I don't know them all right now, but there's a lot. I already ripped into these cause I told you guys I was hungry. <laughs> these Pipcorn little cheese balls, but it's the white cheddar. I know I've been trying the like regular cheddar ones and I have loved those. I've talked about them in like a lot of videos, but I'm telling you, I think I might like the white cheddar ones better. They're not quite as salty as the other ones. So if you sometimes feel like some things are too salty, get the white cheddar. A couple more things for my daughter. We always get these cause they're just like a household staple. The cheddar bunnies from Annie's and the happy baby creamies. I also got the organic coconut amino sauce. We use this in a lot of different recipes, but we namely use it. It's a soy sauce replacement. If you didn't know, I learned that this year. I'd never heard of it. Um, we use this in like our sesame beef taco recipe. I will link below. It's so good. Um, yeah but you need it for that. And then we also got these super espresso little cans. It says it's got protein, zero grams of sugar, low calorie. So that is always nice. The weather's like super warm now. So I feel like cold coffee like that in the afternoon. And then we got two big daddies of coffee. We got the breakfast blend and the French roast. We get the whole bean, but they also have ground. And these are the 24 ounce ones. So we love it. We go through coffee embarrassingly fast. So my husband and I both have the Thrive Market app on our phone and anytime we think of something that we are in need of. We'll just add it to the cart and then we check out once or twice a month, kind of depending on how much we need that month. And it's great because orders over $49 ship for free and we always hit that threshold. So that's pretty easy to do. And I love that they deliver it with carbon neutral shipping from their zero waste warehouses. It makes me feel good ordering from them. And another good thing I really like about them is they have their Thrive Gives initiative where for every paid membership, they give a free membership to a family in need. I think that's pretty cool. And at the end of the day, we save so much money getting these from Thrive Market and it's so darn convenient. It's nice to be able to just come home and the groceries are there, you know what I mean? So they do have two different membership models. They have the monthly model, which breaks down to $9.95 a month. And then they have the yearly one, which breaks down to $5 a month. That's the one we have. I'll pop on the screen how much money we saved on this order. The $5 a month, month ends up being a drop in the bucket compared to how much we save with each order. So it's totally worth it. But what's nice is you can try the 12 month membership risk-free for 30 days. So what's awesome is right now, if you join Thrive Market, you can get 25% off your first order and a free gift. It is an awesome time to join. Just go to thrivemarket.com slash Jessica Braun. I will have all that info and the link down in the description box as well. Thank you so much Thrive Market for supporting my channel and sponsoring this portion of the video. All right, quick outfit change because it's like 90 degrees and I was still in leggings. So switch to short 
shorts and a tank top, we are gonna go to the park. And she's got a little like fruit roll up. It's like Annie's brand, but like a fruit roll up. And she's so excited. And I said, Genevieve, you can't eat it until we get to the park. And she was like, can I hold it in the car? I'm like, yes, you can hold it in the car. <laughs> <laughs> yum, 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 Pinocchio. Well, good morning. So, Pinocchio's eating some breakfast. We've been playing with Gigi and stuff. So, our mother in law's coming over now and we're heading into work. So, we're getting some lunch out because I told Tyler, well, I was like, I don't have time. Let's just eat a quick, quick lunch. He's like, let's go on a little lunch date. So, that's what we're doing. Yep. And that's all. I think I needed like a minute. <laughs> oh, baby. I got like a grilled chicken sandwich. This is a lot of fries. It is. What'd you, did you get a dog, a hot dog? I got a dog. Oh my gosh, it looks so, so good. Yum, yum, yum. We got a little trivia and episode guide. You do have a Golden Girls game, I think. I have a Golden Girls coloring book. Oh my gosh, this is a fun <laughs> little shop. So we were uh, talking about how the fries at that place, that they were like crinkle fries. And in ranking the best fries that exist, crinkle fries is pretty low on my list. Where is it on yours? I haven't met many fries I don't like. I know, but like, think about it. I think the only right? one I McDonald's type fries, curly fries, sweet potato fries, like all of those steak are fries. much higher. I'm one of the only people who uh, like steak, steak fries. fries. I like steak fries. No, a they're, a they're you're talking about like potato like wedge, like thick. thick. Yeah. I like those, but a lot of people don't. Crinkle cuts are above that for me. Let us know your uh, fry hierarchy. hierarchy. So anyway, uh, they put pepper on their fries. Yeah, that was quite good. And it was so good. I'm like, why don't we put pepper on fries like at home? I think Guy Fieri's fry recipe calls for pepper. And I remember looking at me like, we should try that. And then I did. Mm -hmm. So I'm sitting here editing and I, in my May Favorites video that I'm editing, I talk about the WDW magazine that I love. And it just hit me. Do you guys remember Nickelodeon magazine? They would always have a commercial on Nickelodeon when I was a kid, I'm 32. So, you know, 20 years ago, oh my gosh. Uh, but I remember the commercial, it was like, Nickelodeon Magazine, you know, tell your parents to buy it for you. But I would totally forgotten that it existed and we never got it. I mean, <laughs> we never got it as a kid, but I always wanted it. That's all, just like a trip down memory lane, man. Oh my gosh, I bet that commercial is on YouTube. So we popped over to Costco because we needed a couple things and I need a new blow dryer. And this I've heard, I was literally <laughs> in here Googling reviews and it sounds like it's pretty awesome. It's one I've heard of for a long time. So I think I'm gonna finally bite the bullet. It's so expensive though. And my only gripe is if I want to do my hair like naturally curly or wavy, uh, I'm gonna have to do, like buy a separate diffuser for it, like to curl my hair. So that's kind of a bummer, but I, I think I'm gonna try it. If I don't love it, I can always return it. So we're just kind of perusing the aisles just cause the three of us wanted to get out of the house. And it was kind of rainy when we got home today. So it was kind of nice to, go out and there are like a few things on our list that we pretty much only buy at Costco. Mm -hmm. Like frozen fruit, best deal in town the is at Costco. Blend. They haven't so had it the past few times though. We use it for like smoothies. So if they have it, we're buying like three bags. <laughs> okay, what? These are popsicles that are 8% alcohol. Are you kidding? I have to say I'm a little tempted, but I think I'm gonna pass. But I am a little tempted. <laughs> I, I think, I thought you should do it. no, no. I don't think I'll survive that because they'll taste too good but and I'll be like, like two ounces per thing. So it's not like it's like an eight ounce pour of wine yeah. or anything. I mean, but 8% is like... even higher than like a Truly and stuff like that. So I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Let me know I'm if you've tried them. Is to go get them <laughs> I got all excited. I'm like, oh, nice. I could put it like, on, you know, avocado toast. I'm like, wait, isn't avocado mash just guacamole? <laughs> I'm it sure it, yeah, and like onion food. and stuff, but it's just kind of a funny thought. Tyler. Right infringement. <laughs> His channel's Tyler Travels TV. That's so funny. I love these little, I can read books. They're so cute. Wearing my Little Mermaid shirt. It is the next day and it is the rainiest day ever, but it's kind of cozy. And actually Genevieve is with us today and so is Mr. Pinocchio. He's with us a lot of days anyway, but so we're kind of splitting our work time today. And I actually have a Zoom meeting with my YouTube contact today, which is nice. And we just kind of go over my channel and what's going on and looking at the analytics and answering questions I have. So that is awesome. I'm looking forward to that. And I'm eating some breakfast, drinking some coffee. And it really is, I kind of want to throw on like the coziest sweater because even though it's summer, it is so rainy. Like it's so gray and awesome. So I feel like lighting a million candles and getting in a cozy sweater and drinking coffee all day. <laughs> 
which is probably exactly what we're going to be doing here. All right, I'm quite a sight to behold. I have my retainer in. I've got a heating pad on my neck <laughs> because I I don't know the past two nights like I've had the weirdest like crick in my neck. I don't know what the uh, scientific term. I don't think uh, crick is it. <laughs> but anyway, long story short, it's just hurting, and so I'm like, ah. Oh. So I took a little bit of painkillers and I've got this and we'll see and I've switched out my pillow for a different one just to I don't know we'll see it's probably not gonna help anything so it's like a full moon out tonight I don't I think it might be like a special moon of some kind but I, I haven't looked yet but it was so bright shining into our house and I was like Tyler grab the tea let's go on a front porch so we turned the lights out outside and just like looked at the moon and I was like my gosh you could hear cicadas like crowing in the distance the distance I, I don't know what it's called it was so lovely you guys and I told him I'm like we do not take enough time to just like sit outside in the evening and enjoy just the night sorry I know I'm talking so weird with this retainer I'm not used to having it in my mouth also I've been writing on my hand lately so I remember certain things <laughs> I feel like I'm in fifth grade all over again and it's really thrown Gigi for a loop because she's like what's on your hand mommy I'm like oh it's don't start doing it, but it's just to remind me, don't worry about it, you too. <laughs> that is the status on our night. We ended up uh, just going on another walk outside to enjoy the weather and sweet Pinocchio put himself to bed in his little crate. Doors open, he's just in there asleep and Gigi fell asleep after her bubble bath tonight. So all in all a good day and uh, looking forward to trying to wake up tomorrow to work out. I always have high hopes. I've, I'm, I'm at it like a 65, 70% success rate. So, good night. All right, I know you're proud of me, but I did it. I got up early and worked out. I'm proud of myself. Um, but Tyler is actually heading to the chiropractor right now for just like a, like he does like a monthly session or every few weeks, um, which is funny because I literally was like, I feel like I should be going to the chiropractor today for my neck, but it's actually feeling better and I was able to do the workout. It really only hurts when I'm laying down and trying to like hold a position with my neck like that for hours. But I get this every once in a while and it usually heals itself. But it is a lovely morning. I'm gonna hop in the shower and Genevieve's not awake yet, which is great. So I should be able to do that. I want to put a link for, I do this like five minute pre-workout stretch. It's te technically the pre-run and post-run. But I feel like a lot of the movements would be good for even if it, you're not necessarily running or walking, even if you're doing something else. Because especially for the pre-workout one, it's five minutes, it's really quick, and it's kind of more dynamic. And I have noticed, I used to have, like after having Genevieve, for like two years after having her, anytime I would run or walk a long distance, my hip would just ache, it was awful. And ever since I started doing these stretches, I am not kidding, I have not had that pain back. And it's been probably, six six months since i started doing them yeah so i need to get some coffee and hop in the shower did you guys hear that that's a little bullfrog that lives there under our weeping willow <laughs> we've never seen him but we hear him all the time all right so i just used the new blow dryer i bought at costco the t3 one Okay, couple things. I didn't have my round brush with me, so I couldn't get it like as straight as I normally do, but I'm gonna be using like a curling wand anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But the first two things I noticed using this is that it is so lightweight, and it's called the lightweight feather, what is it actually called? Their, yeah, T3 featherweight, but it's still worth noting, like it is crazy lightweight. I feel like the speed doesn't go as high. Is that what it's called, like speed? Like the fan doesn't go as high as other blow dryers I've used, but it still blow dry my hair fast. But what's cool is the cool setting. You don't have to hold it in. You push it all the way in and it locks it on, and then you turn it off if you want to turn it off. That's nice, because usually you're holding onto it while trying to use the cool setting. So, so far I'm enjoying it, but I was surprised that it's not like as strong of a, blower fan I don't, what is it is that what the wattage is uh anyway not as strong as i was used to so i'm gonna still be playing with it but so far so good all right we are like ready for the day i'm gonna go make some coffee before i sit down to film and hey tyler do you want any coffee yes please okay uh, so making two cups of coffee we have like an actual coffee pot and a keurig maker like in one like a two-in-one i can link the exact one we have below it's really good, but we don't always need a full pot while we're here. It kind of depends on what time we get here and how much coffee we'd like already had. So I think I'm just gonna make a couple cups because we'll be eating lunch here in like an hour and a half anyway. 
What's cool is if you're not making the pot, you just take it out and put your cup underneath here and just use whatever pot. I'm doing the Javelia Dark Royal Roast today. Also, my neck is already feeling better. I wonder if just working out this morning and running and like getting the blood flowing has helped. Tonight will be the true test, but I actually may make a chiropractor appointment. Alrighty, we are gonna make some dinner here. I wanna share, this is one of my favorite meals and it's pretty quick and easy. It's not the easiest meal we make, but it's so good. It is a bulgogi bowl and basically it's meat. It calls for ground pork. I'm gonna use ground turkey, it's what we have, but it works with it and a couple of veggies and stuff, let me just show you. So actually, I misspoke. This is a recipe for bibimbap, and they're kind of similar based on the two recipes I've tried from HelloFresh, so I kind of confuse them all the time, and I sometimes will mix parts of one recipe with another. But what I was making here is the bibimbap recipe, and I did find a link to the recipe, so I have that down below if you want to make this yourself. So it calls for carrot ribbons, so just like literally shaving the carrot off, um, some zucchini, and then I've got just some green onion or scallions here. The meat, like I said, I've got ground turkey, and then you need soy sauce or coconut aminos, kind of a substitute for it. Some sesame oil, one of my favorite things in the kitchen. Some rice, and then like ginger and garlic. We don't have any fresh of either, honestly, so that's gonna be perfect. And basically what it ends up being is like a meat and rice bowl with some veggies. Everything's cooked on the stove top, all mixed together, but it really is like the sesame oil and the soy sauce mixed that that just makes it taste so out of this world. Like this is a dish that I now crave. And actually the first time we tried it was actually a HelloFresh meal. This is not sponsored by them, but we've kind of taken it and adapted it as we need to based on like the ingredients we have at the time. But it's one of my favorites. I think I'll be able to find like a PDF of this recipe online. I can link below. Alrighty, so Tyler's putting Shishi to bed. <laughs> She's being super loud. Uh, but I've got the carrots just in some olive oil, salt and pepper. Two other ingredients I forgot to mention, sriracha and then sugar, which actually this little canister, I love this. We are out. So I've got some in my pantry. I just need to refill this. So now I'm doing basically the same thing. I've just got the carrots off to the side. They just did that for like five minutes. And then I've got oil, salt and pepper and the zucchini. We'll cook these for like six or seven minutes until they're kind of soft and put those to the side. And I'm gonna use the same pan for the meat, which I'll show you in a second. The rice is simmering right now, so that is good. I am getting very hungry. Also, I'm watching This Is Us right now, catching up on the latest season. I think there's only one more season. I'm not totally sure, <sighs> but it's so good. Tyler always giggles at me because this show, every episode makes me cry, but it's not as, it's like a sweet cry most of the time. It's not, you know, there are a couple shock, shocking episodes uh, like early on, but now it's just like, they just speak so many like life truths and it just makes you think about your own life and then your eyes well up with tears and you can't help it. So I had the scallion whites, the ground turkey, some ginger and garlic, and we're just kind of mixing it and cooking it in the pan. So I refilled our little sugar thing and then this is the sauce. So it was, like I said, the cocoa aminos or soy sauce and then sriracha, sugar, and sesame oil. And it is so good. It's savory and sweet, which I think is the magic of this whole dish. Okay, they're done. I'm so excited to eat this. So there's rice on the bottom, then the meat, the veggies, and then I just drizzled it with the sauce and then some green onions if you have them, and that's it. These are so freaking good and so filling. And I made enough for leftovers, which is always a win. <laughs> that means free lunch tomorrow. All right, another day, another dollar. So, <laughs> such a tweet. Uh, it is lunchtime here. So we're gonna, we actually brought some leftovers with us to have for lunch here. We we're trying to be better about remembering that because otherwise we end up eating sandwiches every day, which I'm fine with too, but just saying. So actually I, I brought over, oh no, I didn't. I was gonna bring over the leftovers from last night, but I ended up bringing over some leftover like rice. So we brought over some pasta we had left over. This is a vodka sauce Tyler made that is so good. And the leftovers are always really good too. And it always makes a ton, which is great because then we can eat on it for a while. And then this is what I brought. It's this like rice, not is it's, there is some rice in it, right Tyler? Uh, okay, maybe not. So it's just like quinoa blend. I think there's like couscous in there. There's all kinds of stuff. I get it at Trader Joe's and it is so good. It's become like a staple in our house. And then this like apple flavored vegan sausage thing. We're not vegan, but we just like the taste of it. <laughs> so that on top of this is pretty good. I usually get a little bit of honey mustard as well. So I love boiled eggs and we bought one of these a while ago. It's the OXO Good Grips egg slicer. And it is the sturdiest one we've ever had. So I bought another one to have here because I love boiled eggs. So I love all eggs, all versions. 
and this one is so good at cutting it so quickly and evenly and a lot of times egg slices we've had like the wire will get all weird really quickly and this one doesn't do that so i'm excited to have it it's also okay i like boiled eggs in cottage cheese that may sound weird to you but if you have not tried it <laughs> and you like you have to like obviously boiled eggs and cottage cheese but so delicious but also it's really good to make like egg salad with which i love 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 egg salad now i want that for lunch <laughs> So I'm laughing because I'm editing a video and at one point I was trying to say I'm not trying to crap on this brand or whatever I was talking about. But instead of saying I'm not trying to crap on, I said I, can't. I said I'm not trying to but I said it so clearly, I said I'm not trying to poop on. And it, why did I say it like that? I don't know why it tickled me so much, but it just sounded so weird coming out of my mouth. So I'm cutting it out of the video, but I had to mention it. Here's the part in question. A lot of these are still new too. I'm not trying to like poop on. <laughs> and I knew in that moment that it was weird. The moment it came out of my mouth, I knew it was wrong. So I just stopped talking. Okay, anyway, that's all. I, I need more rest. So we needed a little afternoon pick-me-up, so we got some milk tea. And what was yours called? I do not remember. That I know we. I don't know. I two think two minutes ago, and I already forget. I'm not even sure that we've ever had like I've never boba had tea or yeah, milk tea. This one has the boba stuff in it. Yours does boba not. Boba balls. But I've never I, had it before. Yeah, mine's like a matcha one, but it has this cream cheese foam on top. That's insane. Yours had brown I'm sugar. In a new involved. world of flavors. Okay, tea. It's honestly kind of tastes like. Old school McDonald's iced coffee, which I haven't had in a million years, but it kind of tastes like that. Oh my gosh. And then the tapioca balls, that's... Pretty good. Interesting. Yeah, very, again, I feel I feel so trendy right now. <laughs> I see it all the time. Never had. Oh. I get it. I get it. I get it. I don't know if I'll do it again, but I get it. <laughs> These cups are like crazy nice. <laughs> he was like, do you want a straw? I would say you probably don't need one because of you want to get like that foam into your mouth. I've already, I've already tried to sip, okay? I'm just <laughs> needing to let you know. <laughs> I would eat that cream cheese foam with a spoon. I would eat <laughs> I'm it I'm so intrigued to try it. Um, but you can really taste the matcha underneath. It's so, it's refreshing and totally different than iced coffee. And I, I love it. Oh, you've got to try it, Tyler. Isn't that bizarre? I like this one better than that one. You do? Okay, I gotta try this yours too. crazy, whoa. Whoa, yours are sweet. Yeah, which I'm not a big fan of super sweet things, but. Oh, those boba wow. balls, can you hear me eating them? <laughs> awesome. Mm -hmm. So I've got my tea. I am uh, probably gonna edit this vlog like right now. I've got a couple more hours of my work day to um, get something done. And so I figured I would go ahead and get this edited. So I figured I would close this out. I hope you guys enjoyed this style of vlog. Again, thank you so much Thrive Market for sponsoring a portion of this video. If you guys want to check out Thrive Market for yourself. Right now, if you go to thrivemarket.com slash Jessica Braun, you can get 25% off your first order and a free gift. Thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.